Okay everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel today. We're back with another video on Gran Turismo 7 and we're back with highlights from an amazing battle that we had at Monza, no chicane in Group 3 for this week's Daily Race C. So this was taken from Monday's stream, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, hit the notification button so you can watch these races when they are live. But I've gone back, I've edited the video into a shorter video, added in some replay cameras for you and let's take a watch of this absolutely brilliant race. Thoroughly enjoyed this race. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy watching this video. So, yeah, let's check this out. So, we are starting from P9 from the back of the grid. We didn't set a lap time uh, or a very slow lap time. So, that we start at the back with um, Zav behind us. We've also got Konza behind us. And we've also got some other fast drivers starting behind them. And this is what happens on Mondays. A lot of the good drivers, the faster drivers, tend to want to start at the back of the grid because it just makes it a bit more entertaining. And, yeah, we're starting from P9. And we're going to see what we can get out of this race. We've got quite a fast driver in P1, though. We have raced him yesterday when we've picked up a bit more pace. At Monday, though, I wasn't really in the zone on this track. It was taking me a little bit get, to get used to this car around here. But yesterday, we managed to really find some good pace. But this was Monday, and this was a really entertaining race. I hope you're going to enjoy it. So we started racing, see, all clean through the first chicane. If that's quite an unusual occurrence on this game, especially with the no chicane layout where everyone's going insane speeds into that corner. But everyone gets through there fairly clean. As we come out in second Lesmo again, it looks all clean so not driving particularly great at the moment you can see Zav behind us there um, putting the pressure on us we've got the slipstream to P8 need to try and find a way past if we can but at the moment it's not much you can do um, with the Grand Turismo slipstream everyone's in a line you can see there it's very difficult to actually find a way past we go very deep into that corner that's going to lose us on the exit we had to go down to third gear very poor exit speed and we actually end up getting a little bit of a bump draft off Zav I think there and we're still in the slipstream to P8 so Zav's going to hold off here probably. He's probably not going to go for a move here because if he goes for a move here, he's going to get overtaken then on the straight. So he's going to back off there. Uh, again, we go very deep into that final corner, driving very, very scruffy at the moment, not really hooking up these corners and just trying to get on the power. And you can see here, we're just about in the slip. So slipstream at this range isn't very strong. You see Zav manages to go on the outside, picks up the slip to the car in front and we're going to just tuck him behind Zav. And I decided we could have probably sent it up the inside here, but I decided... Now what we'll do is we'll instead of fighting we'll just give Zav a little bit of a bump, give him a boost of speed and not cause too much chaos. As we come through here we've got a little bit of chaos going on, Turbo's off the track, Zav hits the car in front which basically pinballs him backwards into myself. Luckily we managed to ride along that barrier without crashing. We've got dirty tyres here though, no grip on the tyres you can see trying to put the power down and that drops us down to P10. So a little bit of loss of position there, a little bit of chaos going on, I think another car had gone off in all that chaos. So we actually lost like two positions, but gained one, I think, where a car was off the track. So, yeah, not the greatest that bit of chaos chaos there, but that is to be expected on the Monza No Chicane layout. As we watch how close this is going into the Ascari Chicane, and again, very close into here between a lot of cars, about five or six cars here, all within just over a second of each other, and we all managed to get through there just about without any collisions. But you can see Zav's managed to gain quite a lot in all this chaos. He's got himself right ahead of everyone we've got Consta there in p12 just behind turbo so this is going to be interesting we know that Consta is very very fast driver on gt as we go through the right hand corner the final corner onto the straight we've got p8 that's gone a little bit wide there but i'm going to use that slipstream run out to the full width of the track and actually stay in p9 slipstream now because he's got the slipstream to p7 we're going to stay to the left and hope we can just tuck up on the left hand side give him a bump draft and take the position from p9 so p9 getting mugged there goes for the position to get himself up a position but because of the power of the slipstream he's actually lost two positions in the end so yeah that is shows you just how strong this slipstream is on this game and again we're gonna work our way into this first chicane after taking insane speed with that slipstream we're gonna go for the move up the inside can we make this stick so taking a nice tight line giving space on the outside and we managed to make that move up into p8 a great bit of racing between the two drivers here um, he gave us respect, we give him space on the exit and we managed to take that position. So that's the type of race that we love watching on Gran Turismo 7. So coming through the second Lesmo, as we're coming through here, we look up ahead. We see Jay Bateman is going to pay a visit to Barry R. He hits it quite aggressively, they probably got damage and that is his race pretty much over there. But that is one more position gained for ourselves up into P7. So now we've got the Italian driver in front of us. Can we manage to find a way past this driver now? So following him through the Ascari chicane, try and take it nice and smooth through here, trying to get on the power as early as we can. And now you can see 
onto the back straight and then skipping a little bit further ahead for the braking zone for the for the end of the straight where we're going to be braking for the first UK. You can see we've got a slipstream to the Italian driver. We're going to have a little look for a move up the left-hand side, possibly. We have a little look, brake late, but decide that's a little bit too far back. So I back out of that, keeping it on the tight angle and giving him the space. And we all make it through there nice and clean again. So luckily, no contact. Everyone makes it through. And now through to the Lesmo corners. Fast forward in the action now. As we make it way through here, we're all in the slipstream. Just trying to find a way to find some pl places to overtake on this track. And you see there, Consta in our slipstream. He's going to probably back out of that overtake and probably bump draft because it wouldn't be worth going up the right hand side because we've got the slipstream to P6. He would probably just drop back. So, yeah, decided to back out of that. And as we come through here, P6 goes all sideways. We take the inside line. There's a bit of contact there, but I think it was fair. He lost control on the entry and we take that position up into P6. So now we're nearly in that top five. We've got P5 right in front of us who has not got the slipstream to Zav. I think there's a bit of a gap to Zav up, up ahead. So we're gonna get the slipstream now to P5. You can see the extra momentum you get from the slipstream on GT. Once you're within six tenths of a second, the power of the slipstream is absolutely insane. And this is why it's very difficult to follow in group two cars, for example, because when you get more powerful slipstream, you get more powerful dirty air. So we've got a car off the track there that promotes us up to P4. It looks like he's run wide into the gravel. As we look behind us, it's going too wide behind us. Brilliant driving between the two drivers behind us. Consta makes a move and up into P5. Absolutely brilliant stuff all round being seen in this race. I have to say, some races have been pretty bad, but a lot of races have seen a lot of respect at Monza no chicane so credit for the people that have been driving it this week so far it's brilliant to see side by side action actually enjoyed quite a few races here this week also it would have been a much more fun race if we had some strategy in there pd add a bit of tire more tire wear some dump you know maybe soft and hard tires instead of you know get rid of the medium just have soft and hard tires that you have to use would have made this racing very very interesting but yeah we have what we've got and we have to make do of it so working our way now fast forward in the action we're behind p3 nearly up to a podium position now and you can see we're not far away from zav up ahead so picking up the slipstream as we get the fastest lap of the race and we're going to go for a move possibly on lucy in front of us there and they just give us the space there plenty of space given to us on the inside so credit there again didn't even battle that one that puts us up to p3 and Consta's going to be obviously wanting to get himself up there as well so we're now in Zav's slipstream just got to try and keep it nice and smooth through here you can see the difference between my driving on Monday compared to yesterday is pretty insane like yesterday we drove so so much better than this um, we were doing 37 twos to fours and fives with no slipstream and it shows you the difference it makes by just getting used to a track so yeah we seem to have got used to this car now you can see at this stage we're still trying to figure the car out doesn't really suit me the Supra but I do think with practice it's starting to suit me a little bit more because yesterday we were doing really good race pace but you can see we're going to skip ahead to lap 8 we've got Consta behind us there we've got Zav in front of us still we managed to stay with him so staying in that slipstream we've got a nice boost from Zav slipstream Consta's a little bit closer to myself he's about half a second behind us seven temps to Zav in front of us can we find a way to stay with Zav or even go for a move on Zav it's going to be interesting as we work our way into the first chicane and this is where you've really got to be aggressive. So I found that going down to first gear here, braking and getting it rotated in, then back up to second, then third gear before you hit the exit, the exit curb really does get you a lot of momentum. Now for this right hand Lesmo, I've been downshifting to second gear recently in the race, letting the car drift. And then as soon as it's drifting up to third gear and you get such good momentum out of the corner. So you, see, you might see me doing that as we stream it through the week. It is definitely faster for me doing it that way. It might be faster for you also. So powering our way up the straight now, you can see we're almost losing the slipstream to Zav. However, he gets a bad exit from that. And that means we're gonna stay in the slip. Now Consta's got our slipstream and he actually goes for a move here. Now at the time I was like, no Consta, don't do it because we're gonna lose the slipstream to Zav, but he does a good move. We give him space to make sure that he can try and stay in the slipstream. So I didn't wanna fight that one through that corner. We could have probably held it around the outside, but if we did that, we were just going to lose the slipstream to um, Zav by a mile. But you can see, I think Consta might have just lost that slipstream because you can see we're gaining on him quite quickly here. So it does look like Consta might be just outside the slipstream range to Zav. You can see there, Zav quite a bit ahead as we go through the final corner. But we're very, very close to Consta. So I decide, let's get that slipstream and let's see if we can slingshot all our way into Zav slipstream. Because you can see, as we go past Consta, you look at the delta, we're 1.4 seconds. Can we get ourselves just about into the slipstream? It's going to be very, very close as we get to the end of the straight. We've got a little bit extra speed because obviously we had the slipstream down the main straight. And now we're going into that first game. 
Will constantly go for a move. He looks like he's going to stay to the right hand side of the track because he doesn't want to fight this one in this corner because, yeah, it looks like he's playing this one a little bit more sensible through this corner. But will he go for a move somewhere else? Let's see. As we go through the first chicane into the left corners, and unfortunately, I pick up half a second penalty for doing a bit of a cut there. I did see where I did it. I took too much um, off the curb and unfortunately picked up half a second penalty and got a really scruffy exit off the corner as well. However, as we're coming through there, Zav decides to go build in sandcastles and he's off into the gravel there and we are up into p2 so it's a battle now between myself and Consta for p2 now what i knew i had to do here was get a really strong ascari chicane done so take as much speed through as possible get it into fourth gear get the car on the curb and really attack it because we needed to build up a little bit of a gap which we managed to do there you can see building that gap up to nearly half a second so that means when we take this penalty we should be able to tuck back up behind Consta and back into his slipstream for this battle for P2. Absolutely brilliant race, entertainment going on everywhere. And I have to say, this is the type of racing why I think Gran Turismo gets a lot of views on YouTube when it comes to watching live content, because it's just so entertaining to watch. I, I say this all the time. I think for entertainment, there is not many games that match GT7 for how it is to watch. I love playing NCC, but I have to say, when it comes to GT7, when races are like this, I don't think much many other games can get as close to this feeling that you get on GT7. Now, admittedly, it is a little bit false because some of it is based by Slipstream being very, very strong, but it does create these races that we're getting here as we're picking up that Slipstream from Consta again. On the straight, on lap 10, we're a little bit too far back to go for a move into the braking zone, so we're gonna actually back out of that one and just try and get a normal line through the chicane. Good, strong exit, and then try and see if we can stay with him through the two Lesmo corners. Let's see how we go into the first Lesmo downshift to third gear now you see normally now i'd be down into second gear for rotation then back up to third but you see on monday i really wasn't in the rhythm of the track but luckily i seem to have picked up a bit of pace on this track got a few more um few more tips in terms of like watching the top times with the shifting of the gears and it's really helped out for the race pace so just two and a half laps to go now in this race can we find a way past constant now this is going to be an absolutely brilliant battle i really recommend you stay to the end of this race to watch the battle that we're about to have with Consta because this is why I, why I love Gran Turismo. Respect, great racing. You can see here, we've picked up the slipstream on the straight. We're gonna go for a move into the chicane. Can we go for a move? He's staying to the right side, so I decided, let's go for a lunge up the inside. He stays to the right, gives us a space there, so I back out and try and tuck underneath him here and go to the right side. He gets a little bit of a weak exit. Now, he did try and block the line, but he realized he had blocked it too late. Let us back through there. He actually gave me the position. However, I break too late, which then gives him the inside line into the corner, and now he's on our inside. So again, I decided to break a little bit early, then try and tuck up underneath again and try and get a better exit from the corner, which we've done. And you can see we're picking up that slipstream all the way now, and we're gonna try and go around the outside. Now, there's no point trying to do a fake on someone like Consta because he knows we go for them fake you know, moves up the inside and stuff. So I decided to just play it simple on the outside. Can we hang it around the outside here? So all the way around the outside, we've got the curb on the right hand side to keep ourselves on the track and a great bit of racing. Again, you've got to have confidence in the driver that you're racing to go for them moves. And again, Consta gives us a space through the corner and now he's got the slipstream. Now you can see he's backing out here because he knows he's onto the final lap. He wants to get the position here. So he's backed out, give himself a gap. Now you can see I'm backing out as well because I'm trying to figure out how I can do this and hold on to his position. So I back out a bit as well. If I would have floored it then, I might have got the gap a little bit more, but you can see we've only three tenths of a second. Keep my eye on the throttle inputs and you'll see we're gonna actually lift off the throttle on the straight here to try and regain the slipstream. So we're gonna lift off the throttle a bit and just try and let him get a bit closer, get back on the throttle. Now we're gonna pick up that strong slipstream. So a bit of tactical racing going on here from Consta and myself. And you can see this has worked out quite nice because we've got the slipstream again. Can we go back for a move here? Maybe we could have dropped a little bit further back and gone for a move up the inside, but I think Consta would have defended that. But we've got the line for the inside. Can we break late? We're both breaking really late. Consta holds the outside line. Again, we're gonna try and do a little bit of a cutback. Unfortunately, as we're going for that cutback, we give him a little bit of a bump draft in the middle of the corner. So that was a bit unlucky. Now into the two Lesmo corners. Can we find a way to pick up that slipstream? We're very, very close here. We've got to try and get a strong exit from the second Lesmo to try and go for a move into the Ascari. So again, we get a really nice exit there into fourth gear, nice and early. That means we're gonna pick up the slipstream all the way into the Ascari chicane. Can we go for a move right at the end? He's going defensive. He's not going to give up that inside line. We're going to go around the outside and see if we can hang it around the outside again. So 
all the way around the outside. Is he going to give us a space? He gives us a space side by side. We managed to hold it all the way around the outside, but this we're going to have to give up this corner because we won't be able to hold it round on the exit there with the line that we're on. But we've still got that slipstream. Can we go for a move in the final corner? Absolutely brilliant racing. And this again highlights why I love Gran Turismo 7. Races like this into the final corner. Can we hang it wide? It's going to be difficult. We can't get on the power because we're slightly offline. We go to the full width for the track and yeah, he manages to hold that inside line. But what an absolutely brilliant race that was. I hope you lot enjoyed it. Hope you lot re enjoyed re-watching this if you watched it on the stream. Make sure you hit the like button. Comment in the comment section if you enjoyed it. I'll see you all very, very soon for more of these videos. Thanks again for watching everyone.